Hello, gentle viewer. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Europa Universalis IV as Japan. In our previous episode, we really just kind of sat still for a bit. Um, we did lose a war to Dai Viet, or excuse me, Dai Viet lost us a war, and much of our navy, our antiquated navy, was destroyed in the process. We're rebuilding our fleet with mostly two daggers, which means we should be much more effective going forward. Uh, I think this update's going to be about taking out Kutai. Unless I've gotten some friends, which they have. So let's take one of our armies. One should be plenty. Let's get you over here. I would not actually object to having a couple extra forts here. What if I built one here? Oh, I would need... That wouldn't cost that much, actually. Yeah, it would. Okay. Start spending some money to get some. No, turn on, take go away. Let's start spending some of our money again. University and eh. a town hall is not a terrible. Holy crap! Yes, please. I completely forgot about that building. That's a really good building. It's not my favorite. So that just happened. That is some bad, bad news. Boy, we better win this war PDQ then. I'll give me a new Admiral, please. Let's declare ourselves some more. Are you seriously kidding me? You are not kidding me, are you? You kill them. Hang on, stop here. Force march. And Ming just declared war on Kutai. Destroyed. Thank you. 
yeah, stupid Ming is going to get the lion's share of Kutai because they're jerks. Oh, they just became a tributary state and paid them a lot of money. I'm fine with that. I'm a tributary of Ming too. Which means I can still eat you and go om nom nom. Oh, you're still building ships, okay. It'd be 500, oh, it'd be 500, they're now 250, yeah, okay. I've gotta wait, because I'm so close to finishing off this idea group, which will give me discipline, and then I can get maybe more discipline. It'll be amazing. Um, please get the rest of the fleet down here. Eh, you're okay. You got five two-deckers. If you can't take down this fleet with five two-deckers, I'm not sure you deserve to. There we go. Brunei surrenders. We mess up their fleet. Even if I weren't at war, you wouldn't want to be my friend. Um... Let's send you home. Let's keep pressing. Beautiful. saying 99%. Go wipe out their army. Sure. Um, yeah, let's build some things. Eh, nothing here is that amazing. Give me a great temple. How close is Kyoto to having another building? Oh, wait, you probably already have one, don't you? Yeah, these are all things we can upgrade. I think once I've taken all my land back from them, I think I'll get the 100%. Yes! I don't 
bonus of discipline. What do I have now for total discipline? I need another 10 discipline. Oh, I know I can get some more. When I finish my innovative ideas, I'll get a bonus. How can I just make you my vassal? This is getting silly. even close. I don't really want Mahaj Pit angry at me. This will make Kutai really angry, but they won't be able to do anything about it. Or wait, I could just make you my vassal? Mm, I don't really want vassals if I can avoid it. Take the Diplo hit. Sure, you can make a meaningless state. I don't care. Colonel in the Japanese Oyubecha army has been making a name for himself as a strong proponent of armed resistance against Japan. Besides being a gifted soldier, he seems to be an inspiring and charismatic leader, and more and more people seem to listen to his dangerous ideas of independence. But instead of immediately beheading this upstart, the local authorities in Japanese Oyubecha promote him to general. How dare they? We'll have to see what happens next time. Um... Did I just start this one? Let me check something really quickly here. Yeah, I started you pretty soon. I almost thought I almost ended this episode early. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, lots more to do in this episode. Lots more. Let's get some more cores. Let's core all the things. <laughs> I can build a new... I can buy a new ability. Let's get some less... Liberty Desire. What do I currently have? I don't have 125. I might get there, but it's going to take a while. And I need an extra rival. Let's make it Pasai. Lost our general. Oh, I've already got... Yeah, I can go ahead and cut your army expenses again. And also... Mothball forts. Now we're making money again. Can 
Can I get a new royal marriage with Meng? Oh, I don't need to have one, okay. Stupid Russia. Let's make Bengal like a sum. Um... <coughs> <coughs> Some pit just got raided. That's not very nice of you. All right, we should be able to get rid of this over thingy. Oh wow. Liberty desire has gone up, hasn't it? Why are you not paying it? Oh, because you're disloyal. I don't have any Diplo to spend. Yeah, I'll take a prestige hit. If I mean, you start paying me money again. occupation you're not occupied by the enemy Holland sure we have our first European friend Okay, let's reduce, let's see here. Okay, that's as good as that's gonna get, okay, fine. <clears throat> Where did Holland want me to be their friend? Did I just ally an OPM? The hell is Holland? Okay, Holland, give me your maps. Oh, here it is. I guess a boost of prestige isn't bad. It's going to take us forever to get positive diplo again.
Uh, now I have to remember, how do we... Where are the disabled alerts again? That's kind of neat. Um, but that's not what I was looking for. Let's start putting in some autonomy for now, which I can always roll back later. I now get nothing from them. Hmm. Who else is really angry? Lihad.2 What is causing all this unrest? Oh, once Kuching is cored, then we can make this a state. I see. Now we can make a new state. Let's build 20 more. And we need a new person for Diplo. Sure. I'd rather have a prestige hit and get this jerk out of here. No, don't disinherit him. Oh, it's 20 legitimacy in prestige. Yes, do it. Let's zoom out. Let things speed up a bit. Bonus to prestige from the fleet. Nice. Gaining morale. Oh, you can't recover. Oh, I had no idea. That's a really big deal. That may be why creativity is on. We have a new marriage. Very nice. Yanobu is our new heir, and we have a very nice. Look at that for a leader. Hmm.
wonder if that's why we got here. That would explain a lot. I had no idea armies wouldn't recover morale when forced marching. have all kinds of money. They're just paying off everyone's debts. How can I get your liberty desire to drop enough that I can annex you? Oh, so you're actually at 129%. Is that enforced religion thing ever going to go away? I don't know. That's kind of irritating if it never goes away. Um, sure. Yes, by all means. Let's look at the rest of the world while we're waiting for things to happen here. Russia's gotten very large indeed. Um, we can make our philosopher work harder. Do that. So we've got Russia. Is the dominant power in Europe. But the Polish, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth is quite scary. We've got Milan, Spain, Britain, and France. Morocco is very, very strong in Africa, as is Air and Congo. Um, in India, Afghanistan's gotten quite large. Ming, Korea. We may never get those last few provinces in, in Japan, and I'm coming to grips with that. I don't like it, but there's not much I can do about it. Oh no! We lost our awesome queen. Let's get you a general. It's a pretty good general. So Shaga Tai would actually sign an alliance with me, but they are you still 
if you stop, if you don't fight Russia, then I will happily treat you as a friend. I want a royal marriage, sure. I'll just randomly. I'm gonna pay off Cleves' debt. Clearly, Cleves is now a burgeoning superpower because Ming paid off your debt. Speaking of burgeoning superpowers, can we expand our army at all? Yes, by quite a bit. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's actually going to take us four over. Don't do that. Just give us two artillery. That'll be fine. Okay, this is a war against Korea, and they'll give us territorial gains if we win. Is it time? I think it's time. And the old clock here says this is a wonderful time to end the episode. Now the question is, will we have to fight Meng too? And I don't think so. Because we can't be forced to fight our overlord. I don't think. But we'll see what happens. Um, we're just going to go ahead and accept now. Let's do this. Um, so next episode will be another war against Korea. And this time, it's super personal. It's like twice as personal. But that'll be for next time. So until then, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to click like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you think Ming's going to stab us in the back. That would be an interesting war in the very, very bad sense of the term. But until then, this has been Avindian wishing you good day, good luck, and good fortune.